Alzheimer's disease was first diagnosed in a woman named Auguste de Terre over a century ago. It's the most common cause of dementia. In general, it is expected uh, that two-thirds of all cases uh, are uh, due to Alzheimer's disease. But for a number of reasons, cures or even adequate treatments for Alzheimer's have proven stubbornly elusive. Uh, it has been a taboo. Uh, people didn't talk about it. Second, underfunding. Uh, we have 15 to 20 times less funding for this disease area compared to cancer, although we have equal numbers, about 50, 55 million in the world. And third, it's very difficult. This is a brain disorder, and that's the most difficult organ of the body. As Alzheimer's disease progresses, clumps of protein called amyloid form in the brain of the affected patient. Another protein called tau, which usually stabilizes neurons, instead begins to form tangles like those here in blue. That also plays a key role in degeneration. There is a picture, a metaphor for that. So um, the amyloid pathology is uh, the trigger that, uh, of the gun, but finally the bullet that kills is certainly tau pathology. Lecanemab, the new Alzheimer's treatment, slows the formation of plaques in the brain. It's an artificially produced antibody that works by binding to amyloid. The medication has broken new ground in the field. This is a big success, and uh, this is the first. This is the first trial with a proven uh, result in a phase three clinical trial. Uh, I think the science is hard there. And uh, um, so this is opening the door. I would say it's a milestone. It's definitely a very important milestone because it's the first drug that um, is not acting sym symptomatically. It's clearly disease modifying in a certain sense that showed in a phase three trial um, a positive outcome in all primary and secondary endpoints. Lecanemab only slowed the loss of cognition. It didn't halt it completely. Still, it's a promising step towards potentially stopping or even curing this debilitating neurological condition.